Hi everybody, so this is going to be the what is this smartphone Christmas light controller thing and uh, what, what does it do and how can you generally use it in the show. Um, so basically a little background, I work in robotics and I've always wanted to get people to have control of the show. So this is what this is, something that where anyone else who happens to have a smartphone can control the lights on your house and play with it and have fun with it um, all from touching a picture basically of your house. Um, you don't have to own a smartphone to, to use this. Um, be fun to test with obviously and fun to play with yourself but you don't have to have one set up in the show. Okay guys so we have here a Droid 2.2 simulator that I'm going to show you this app on. Um, it will work on I believe every version of the Droid and we're currently working on a uh, iPhone version, or someone, someone I know at work is working on an iPhone version, so hopefully that'll come out too. Um, so simply a person would uh, be standing in front of your house, download this app, which I already have downloaded here. Uh, it would just start it up. Um, this is meant to be as simple as possible for the end user. So you start it, you get a simple screen that kind of tells you what this thing is. Um, hit go. Now. Uh, typically that would be the only button you hit because most people are already going to have GPS going, they're already going to have internet connection going. Uh, the sim doesn't, so I need to start that real quick. Just one second. Um, need to get my position. Um, so, so it uses GPS um, so that a person can be standing in front of anyone's house and have it automatically figure out whose house they're staying in front of. So it shows the right picture. So it's kind of like got zones around people's houses and finds you and displays the right picture so that there's like nothing a user has to select on his end as long as he's got GPS and the internet working. So I just gave it my position. I'll uh, hit the check it again. And it will go all the way through and pop up a picture of my house. And at this point, uh, wherever the person were to touch the screen, the corresponding lights in my house would show up. Per se, this window, if I were to touch this um, on the actual phone, my light window, lights on my window would show up, would uh, light up here. And same over here, and on and on. And you can also maybe define an area of the image, and you know, you know, edit your image. So like, put a little button here that says "Turn on all," and then when they were to browse over that or uh, touch over that and click there, you could also map that to turn on all your lights at once or whatever you want to do. Um, Really, you can get creative here, do whatever you want. Um, but in general, the general idea was uh, just an image of it, and then you just have like a real time touch control of the lights. Um, so, generally, that's how it works. Now, uh, when people move away from your house, uh, they will encounter another screen. Uh, so, let me move really far away, and you'll see this pop up. It says, you know, cannot find a house, try moving around or you can search. Um, so you, if you hit this again, it would just check again, and if you weren't near your house, it would just bring up the same dialog box. But if you want to search for an animated light show, you can click that button, and it'll take a second, or, yeah, here it goes. It'll say, or not work, but no. Um, and it will go to a page I set up that has a Google map on it that will show everyone who's registered and got me their information and to use this app. Um, that will come up eventually. So here's the start of my site and Google Maps takes a fair amount of time you know, zoomed out. Um, currently I'm zoomed out um, just America. Uh, we'll see how many Australian people pick this up. I might have to add some text or something telling people, yeah, there's people in Australia too. Um, so yeah. And there's my house. Yeah. So that's how this generally works. Okay, guys, so uh, made it this far, you're interested, and now you're wondering how do you use this in the show? Uh, well, there's a couple ways you could use it. Um, in general, like I said, you do not have to own a phone to use it. Uh, there's an input plugin that other videos will show you how to get set up. Um, you can obviously use it yourself just to test lights or however you want. Um, I personally plan on running like a 15 or so minute show 
Um, and then, you know, I started having traffic problems like everyone else uh, just a bit last year. So, next year, or, or this coming year, I mean, I plan on having a 15-minute show and then announcing over the FM broadcast that, you know, the next show is going to start in five minutes. And in the meantime, if you happen to own a smartphone, uh, you can control the lights directly yourself. Um, you know, go to, you know, Google Marketplace and download the Christmas light controller. Or I, I, there will be a QR code out, which is like a little thing you can scan with the picture um, or with the camera on the phone um, and download it directly. I plan on having that out with my printouts about, you know, the charity I'm collecting for and whatnot. Um, so that's going to be on there so they can just scan that directly. Uh, and basically give them five minutes of just free reign in between shows and anyone can play however much they want. Um, they can, you can set up the plug-in to work during a regular uh, animated song if you want. Um, you know, have, maybe have like a little side area set up to play with or whatever. Um, so really it's up to you. You could, uh, heck, I, you know, I'm thinking forward towards next year. An RGB grid with people being able to play, I don't know, Contra or Mario Brothers from a smartphone, you know, while the, the grid's on like your garage door or something. I don't know, those are future thoughts. Who knows what will happen. Um, but that's generally how I'm thinking of using it this year. Um, the only other notes, uh, this does require Vixen 2.5.08, um, which I know isn't exactly the most stable in the world. I think I have a workaround to get it set up. Um, or basically to use 2.1 for your uh, real show and then maybe use this uh, in the meantime for like in between shows. I don't know. I have to work on that and if it works I'll show you a video. Um, who knows, maybe it'll be next year at Vixen 3 or whatever. Casey's done a great job in the past. Um, awesome stuff and you know, takes a lot of time. So. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll uh, do another one. Anyways, uh, so that's the general overview of this controller. And uh, go check out the other videos to see how to get it set up. Thanks.